hello friends and welcome to analysis Chess. so this video is all about Fabiano Carbono's favorite opening the Petrov the Petrov defense or the Russian defense we know that Fabiano Carbono won the Candidates tournament and now will face up against Magnus Carlsen in November for the world championship in London and the match will be played actually in London and what is Fabiano Carbono's favorite favorite super duper defense or super duper opening is of course the Petrov the Petrov starts with e4 e5 then knight to f3 and knight to f6 or the two knight defense so this is one of the most popular defense nowadays for every for every grandmaster actually is because Fabiano Carbona's solid opening repertoire and in 2018 I mean, I, I don't know whether he lost any classical games, probably against Anand, but other than every game he either drew or won. I mean, against Magnus Carlsen actually in this opening line, he drew with Carlsen. Carlsen thought he has Fabiano Carbona, but he didn't actually. So he didn't, he couldn't stop uh, Fabiano Carbona in the game in Singfield Cup. Actually, it was uh, Magnus Carlsen versus Fabiano Carbona, and Carbona was black and Magnus was white. And Magnus played a nobility, but uh, that was nothing for Fabiano Carbona. And Carbona just solidly defend the, posi defend the position, and it was a draw. So, let's see what is Fabiano Carbona's favorite opening, which is the pace drop defense, is all about. So, this pace drop defense or Arsene defense starts with e4, d5, knight f3, knight f6. So, we can see in the diagram. So this is the starting lineup. This is the two knight defense, and of course, uh, in previously, it was actually practice. Uh, it was actually developed. It was developed by so many grandmasters, and mostly with actually by Petrov, and grandmasters like Karpov, Yusupov, Smithbob, uh, Marcel, Kramnik, Filsbury have frequently played this Petrov as black, of course, and. That one of the main reason why they played this Petrov defense is because of the drawing chances and the equalization and the liquidity. Is because if you play for draw or if you play for solid defense against black, then this Petrov is just just as good as possible. So let's see. So this is the starting lineup, and now the most most popular move is this knight on f6 actually takes on e5 pawn. And now white is a pawn up, and of course black can. So let's see, let's see the variations. So this knight to uh, e5, knight crosses e5 is the classical variation, and this is actually the main line, and this is one of the most popular line. And there is another line which is which is again very popular. Is knight to c3 and this is called the four knight defense or sometimes the three knights game and there is another possibility which is p sub to c6 and we can see that it is actually eyeing down this fc f7 f7 square f7 square here and we can see by the diagram that this f7 square is vulnerable and this knight can jump here to g5 and attack this so this is another another line and there is another line which is called this Steiner's variation and which is of course sometimes we all play this d4 move and we can see why this is the most uh, one of the most popular this is the Steiner's this was actually developed by Steiner's the first world champion so these are the variation and but why it actually usually prefer the main line or the classical variation which is knight crosses e5 and after this knight crosses e5 there is a variation which is called knight crosses c3 and we can see this is called the Petrov Damiano variation or at this position actually black can play this little move or this cute move d4 and knight back here and this is one of the very popular and probably the massy diagram of 
a Petra player. So this knight crosses e5 move is very popular and uh, today we're gonna see this line actually so what happens after this knight crosses e5 move and this knight crosses after this knight crosses e5 move uh, the most popular is actually the move d6 and this d6 move is just just very 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 popular very popular so let's see so this d6 move has been played by black and now there are almost four lines and the main line is knight backs to f3 so this is the main line so there are other lines like knight to c4 and this is called the pulsing attack and we, we can see in the diagram and we can see in the annotation this is called the c4 to petrov pulsing attack or the pulsing variation and there is another variation which is called knight to d3 and it is called the Karklin's attack or the Karklin's variation it is not that popular because you are blocking this uh, light square bishop which is not <coughs> good and normally in this line uh, actually what happened this and then this <coughs> and probably this take no no I'm playing it all wrong so this take now this now this <coughs> so in this variation after this move this card clean variation this and now this and this and this we can see and this so this is the Kaplan attacks the main priority just to finger doing this bishop and just get in that diagram get in this beautiful diagram and we can see we could have played this and then this this and this capture and capture we can see it uh, been all played almost and this i mean this game is just for draw actually so this is the phenomena of this carcline's line and of course we can see this is just just for draw so what is d6 so knight f6 knight crosses e5 d6 and okay so this is the Kalkin variation and there is called the Cortunary variation or this knight crosses f6 or this is called the Cochrane's gambit this is the gambit line so this gambit line goes like this then this king actually takes out this so king takes f7 and there is a game actually very popular game it was played between your favorite Grandmaster Faisal in Topolov and world champion Vladimir Kramnik at Lanier's 1999 as offering changes for both sides in this game was played by Vladimir Kramnik actually Kramnik took at f7 and now knight to c3 by Topolov and after this move actually Kramnik did a little bit little bit error he played the move c5 which is of course not a computer move and not a human move i don't know why he played but it was played at that time although at that time computer wasn't that good and then bishop to c4 was played so we can see the in intentions actually and after this bishop to c4 move bishop to e6 i mean this has been all drawn actually this is all drawn game and bishop takes bishop and now take so king takes e6 and now d4 king to f7 because taking is very dangerous king to f7 and now d takes c5 and of course taking this will be very dangerous we can see just losing in the front so that's why knight to c6 was played in the game 
so this is a setup or this is a line which was played by uh, Kramnik and Topolov in 1999 so in that time also this line was was popular and this is the called the Cochrane Gambit it is, starts with knight crosses f7 move so you can see in the annotation so let's see the more option you know, white follows the main line which is called the knight f3 and the knight cross e4 So knight to f3 move. So this knight to f3 move, as we are understanding that this is very popular, and after this knight to f3 move, the main move is knight crosses e4, and this has been played so many times. And in modern and in recent games of Fabiano Carbona, actually this was played. So knight cross c4, and now d4 just getting an edge and over this c5 we can see this c5 and of course this e5 these squares are pretty good for white because this d4 pawn actually defending all these two squares and we can see and after this we can see this d5 d5 actually happen and now bishop to d3 attacking this lonely knight and then knight backs uh, to f6 and castling and everything happen and the game will be drawn so this is the general so this is the setup and so this four knight to e6 actually so Four knight crosses, uh, knight crosses e4 move. So after this knight crosses e4 move, there are some other variations, and the other variation is that knight to c3. After this take, we don't have to play the move. This we have to play the move. This knight to c3 move, and after this. Knight to c3, we can see this take and take. We can see this is this is a very popular line actually, and this kind of setup actually was played against uh, against Cardona for Magnus. Magnus actually played in this kind of thing, and then he played this bishop to c4, and it was just awesome. This bishop to c4 move, and then Cardona actually castled in this position. So, but this in this variation. And now d takes c3, so this is and this is of course with rapid development for queen set castling, and for instance actually white can plan a quick to bishop e3 and queen d2 and a long castle. We can see that uh, bishop e3, of course a popular line bishop e3, and queen to e2 we can play and then a long castle, and of course white I think has some. Uh, has some pressure over black in this lineup and that's why this lineup uh, normally don't play don't play by white white normally pushes this d4 push so i hope you enjoy this video and more analysis on this petrov defense or the russian defense will be will be analyzed in you know my next video where i will show a Fabiano Carbonas game against Magnus Carlsen where the game was drawn. In this video you will find that how Petrov can give you some understanding and understandable draw. So I hope you like this video and see all this annotation over here over the down of the screen and thanks for watching and just be good and wait for the next video and thank